knew I was gonna bend this all up. Oh. I mean, it's not moving at all. had a literal Jesus take the wheel moment. Maybe not literal, but I have reached a level of too many things have happened in a short amount of time level. And I'm taking every ounce of me to trust in the Lord for all of everything. Now, my van wasn't able to get fixed at the mechanic. Now there's a new problem that my steering wheel is shaking when I'm trying to brake. And I just decided to just get back on the road and just keep going and maybe find a different mechanic. And so I was leaving my parents' house, but I had to get gas. So I went to this gas station I went to put my card in and I couldn't see the screen. It was all like ghosted out or whatever. So I had to go in. I went in, she said, yeah, that pump's broken. Go to another pump. So I pulled backwards and then pulled over and there was a giant flipping Winnebago just taking up the whole center section. And whatever, that's fine. They have to get gas too. But the problem was that it was a family and they were just dinking around, just sitting in the center aisle, just going in and getting out, kids running around done pumping gas, just sitting there so nobody else could get gas. So I felt that I had enough room to get by and then go to the pump in front of them. So I try to go to the side. I start to pull forward and I hear the biggest crunch of all crunches. My closed cabinet opened, my bottom cabinet opened. So I hit something. I'm going to show you. I basically ran the side of my van into the little yellow pylon that's supposed to be like a warning, but I couldn't see it because I was already kind of in there. And now my door won't close, my side door. So I have it bungeed. So now I gotta go back to my parents' house who have been trying to leave the desert. I've, I've, I'm losing it, I'm losing it a little bit. I'm gonna have to like, seriously, after I film this video, just take some deep breaths and pray. And my, I called my dad. He, he said, come back. He'll try to help me fix the door. I'm almost in tears. I know the Lord's going to take care of everything. Let me just show you. So here's the door that won't close. Smacked right into the side of my door. Smashed it in. That thing was smashed down. I had to pull it up so that it wouldn't be dragging on the ground. There's a big gap here now. I think these things are pulled outwards. And that's why I can't close this door. So when I try, it just stops. So right now I just have it bungeed. Oh Lord God Almighty. That's definitely not ideal, but you know it is ideal. Becoming part of the snack pack. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video. No, I mean really hit the like button and keep watching till the end to see if I get my door fixed. Right now it's just bungeed around one time, but it's clearly open and it's getting caught now down by this panel. Let me undo it because my dad's going to try to fix it. Push this metal in. Right. I mean, I don't care what the look is. You can see it has to be kind of like straight with this up and down flat. Yeah. So. This one's straight and this is bent in. Yeah, if I hammer this in, maybe we can just push it that way. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe. This thing is moving a little bit. Oh, I see. It won't let me go any further that way. Now I'm going to hammer it back out, I guess. I think they're breaking this thing off. That hinge part This there. is coming out when you're tapping yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, it's like a little... I don't know what it's This thing is a spacer. That's what I'm worried about too. If this is aluminum, it could break. You can't put it in here. In that gap, you pull it out. Yeah, pull it out. You can't pull it. You have what? to push it. No, it's going to bend this all up. Maybe it 
little bit closer. It makes me nervous is because when you do that, you can see this metal flexing. I know. Close a little bit. Is it open, is it open anymore? Yeah. Wait. What's it pushing against? Oh. I mean, it's not moving at all. We're going to probably break that hinge off. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, down. this part. When this breaks, you're going to have to go to a, somewhere. A welder. I mean, this is where I got a big clamp, but I'm not sure we're going to do that because... Wait a minute. This is all attached. So you have to have something solid right here to pull against. I mean, mm. against. It was 100 degrees and very bright outside. So this next part, I didn't know my phone was on slow-mo. So I had to speed up some of it. So you're going to miss some of the words that me and my parents were saying, but I'll try to patch them in. Here my dad is using a very sturdy old school wrench and just kind of using leverage to pull the hinge back. We do like a, a I'm afraid if we do, I'm just kind of afraid if we keep doing it, it's going to break the hinge. Like maybe just like a tink. Will you watch it? Okay, okay, ready? Ready? Go. I could see that this method was working. So I asked my dad to give it just a little bit more of a push and then hallelujah the door closed he was saying this was a tool that's got him out of a lot of messes and then i asked him where'd you get that tool and he said my dad and then i said dad's always come to the rescue i am so so grateful for my dad and all his wisdom knowledge and tools and for always being there when i need him i love you dad i wasn't too worried about the little stepper even though it was cracked but my dad wanted to try to patch it up as good as possible so that I could still use it on the road. So he has this method where he uses this really, really strong super glue and baking soda. Those two elements together develop this sort of heat compound and it hardens to a very strong material. All right, friends, my door is fixed. And it even opens all the way like I want it to when I'm sitting somewhere. So I am so, so grateful because that was just like the, the 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 straw that broke that camel's back. I feel bad for that camel. That camel needed a back brace. And I needed a mental brace because I just, things after things after things have been happening. And I set my hope on the Lord. But I was reaching for the Lord's hand in that situation because I was just ready to get back out. And then that just happened. So I, my dad fixed the door. I didn't fix the door, but my dad fixed the door. I was so grateful to have him. And now I drove out to the California coast and I'm just sitting here for the past couple days, just trying to just be calm and just chill out and do my potato diet. Today's day 10, my final day. So I'm so excited. And then from here, I'm gonna be doing something similar, but not all potatoes. It's just a beautifully breezy, overcast day, which is my favorite. I had a little freak out moment, but it's all better now. I mean, my door still caved in, but it's fine. Every, the thing about my van that I love is that it doesn't look super great from the outside. So I don't really worry too much if there's get, if there gets dings and dents and stuff like that. Now this one was a doozy. I was not happy about it, but every, every little thing that's on my van is just part of my adventure. So I don't get too, freaked out about it. When hard things happen, you can get through it.